All right, one last quick little tribute video here. You know, I am a Marvel guy. I love my Marvel comics. And uh, I don't have many Golden Age comics. If you've been watching any of the videos, you know, I have mostly Silver Age that I was showing from a lot of my key issues are from the Silver Age. A couple from the Golden Age, not many. And uh, these are just the trilogy here of what got Marvel started. This is back when Marvel was timely for the most part. I think all three of these are timely. Maybe one's Atlas. You know, the series goes timely was the publisher, then Atlas. That then later became Marvel with, you know, most of the people moving from one company to the other each time. They change names. Um, Atlas and Timely were from the Golden Age. Atlas had some early Silver Age stuff, but mostly Golden Age for Timely and Atlas, and that's what these are. Human Torch number 18. I get these in pretty low-grade condition, otherwise I, there's no way you can afford them unless you're a millionaire. Or if you spend your entire life savings on your comics. These are so important. 1945, in the spring of 1945, the very, very end of World War II. This has a Submariner backup story. It's got Alex Schoenberg cover art. Um... You know, and this, it's hard to see, but they're, the Human Torch and his sidekick, I think his sidekick's name is Toro, if I remember. It's a smaller version of the Torch. He goes around with a kid version, basically. They're defeating the Japanese, a.k.a. the Japs, in early World War II stuff here. We're trying to overtake General MacArthur's headquarters. Don't know if you can make that out. That is General MacArthur's headquarters there. Anyways, World War II, crazy battle scene stuff. Next one here, remember this is the trilogy, so the Human Torch is one of the three. It started it all for them in the early Timely series. One was Human Torch, number two is Submariner. This is the Submariner number two from the original Submariner run. Behind the Timely Comics, again, it's the publisher, published in the summer of 1941. Again, a low-grade copy, but this has an angel backup story. Stan Lee actually has a text story in this one in early 1941. Stan Lee comic. Um, it's got Bill Everett's story and artwork. Alex Schoenberg is working again on the cover here. He did so many of those great World War II covers, Alex Schoenberg. This is Submariner number two. Jamming. The Submariner is jamming the torpedo down the Nazis' hatch here during this World War II battle. You can see the Nazis... It's really hard to make out the emblem there, but they have Nazi signia, uh, insignia on them. It says, Submariner ram the torpedo down the Nazi sub's hatch. You can see the ship sinking in the background there, but the Submariner is trying to save the day, kicking a, a Nazi here while shoving the torpedo down the, the hatch. That's the biggest Nazi insignia you can see there. And finally, the end of the trilogy. Remember we have the Human Torch, Submariner, and finally, and I would say the most important of the three, is Captain America. This is Captain America Comics. This was his first series. It was called Captain America Comics, for those of you who don't know. Number 22. Again, this is Timely, publishing this in 1943 during World War II. It's got a Human Torch backup story. There's an, a Hitler appearance in this one. Um, the artists on this are kind of, I don't know any of them except for Sid Shores, who I do know, who does, did the cover here. And it is an awesome cover. A little bit dirty here. I don't know if you can see on the Captain America banner, there's a little bit of stain that goes all the way down through here that becomes harder to see and down into here. But other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. That's why it's very good. And again, we've got the Japs. I hate using that word, but the Japanese, they really weren't thinking about it as Japanese. You can tell when they drew this. They were thinking about it as Japs during World War II. Always getting their asses kicked. And here's Bucky, Captain America's sidekick. You know, I already showed this one, so I'm going to cut it off pretty quick with that. But that's the trilogy. That's my tribute video to Captain America. Captain America Comics number 22. Submariner. Submariner Comics number 2. And the Human Torch. Human Torch number 18. All early golden age of the key three characters. Hope you enjoyed all the videos, peoples. All right.